indie video games, or more specifically indie fighting games, are actually everywhere. They're way more popular than I think anyone wants to admit. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't like that no one's talking about them, so let's talk about it. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get into this. So if you look at the last two years, I don't think anyone would disagree. It's been an odd time for fighting games and fighting game fans. The tournament circuit pretty much shut down completely, and they're just finally opening back up. And for the games to look forward to, we only had really two major releases, and that's Grand Blue Fantasy Versus and Guilty Gear Strive. And I mean, I guess we did have a handful of DLC announcements uh, from the major hitters, but the funny thing is there is this small part of the fighting game community that's been hard at work in trying to compete with those big guns, and that would be the indie fighting game scene. I stumbled upon it on a subreddit once, and I'm more or less now obsessed. I've been covering all of these one by one on TikTok, but I want to talk about how I feel these may be the future for the FGC, because these games all started the same way. They were made by people like us. Most indie fighting games start the same way. Someone or a team has a cool idea, a love for fighting games, and a drive to get it done. The latter, of course, being the most impressive. I've been dabbling with this myself, but I'll chat about that a little bit later. Indie fighters have this appeal to me that just hits home. I love the big title fighting games, but I've been guilty of sinking way too much time into a game that, let's say, is less than popular. Bloody Roar is one of my all-time favorite fighters, and I was a little bit obsessed when I was younger. Whenever I try to convince my friends to play it with me, they're like, no, and we just played Tekken, Soul Calibur, or Mortal Kombat like we always did. However, I always just wanted them to play these other games with me, and I think a lot of people are with me when there's just certain games we just truly like. Maybe it's because I root for the underdog, but I actually think indies are going to have their time in the spotlight, and it's simply because it's kind of already happening. Games like Skullgirls and Power Rangers for the Grid are already showing that you don't need to be part of one of the big four companies to be a solid fighting game. Skullgirls is pretty much the standard now of what you go for when you make an indie fighting game. And Power Rangers for the Grid literally have everything that we complain about. Cross-platform, cross-generation, rollback netcode, and a great IP. These games are already showing that indie games are legit and we need to start paying more attention to them. In 2020, when the pandemic hit and we need to go to an online scene for EVO, when Them's Herds got announced, I was so excited. It shows that we are actually gonna give indies an honest chance. Of course, EVO got canceled that year for other reasons, but still, it's kinda great to see these indie games get some representation. Also, the one thing that I think I love most about indie games is you're like, when you find out about it, you're like, no, that can't be true. Wait. Really? I've talked about it before, but Serial Killers is like legit my most excited game for this year. Without a doubt, if there was a fighting game that I want to play, it would be a serial mascot parody fighting game. It sounds absolutely amazing, and I'm be honest, that's probably the only game I will be playing when it comes out later this October as a demo. And that's not all. There's all these other games out there that just no one knows about. Terradome, a game where they pretty much take all of like the urban legends and cryptozoology and lore and myths and they take all these characters from and they have them fight each other. Like you can play a character that's pretty much the Slender Man versus Van Helsing. It's crazy and weird and who doesn't want to see Bigfoot summon an eagle? These games are just fun and goofy and it's exactly what I think indie games are trying to do, yes, they're never going to be as popular as a game like Street Fighter or Tekken or Mortal Kombat, but these games have something that mm, the other companies, to be honest, don't really do. They kind of listen to us. A lot of these games that I am mentioning or will mention are in early access on Steam, which we go in there, we play, and then we can tell the developers exactly what we think or what needs to be changed. And guess what? These are indie developers, uh, they're listening. There's a couple that are just solid games. Pocket Bravery and Punch Planet are honestly two of the most amazing fighting games I have ever played. They have a lot of potential to be honestly competing with some of the big games. Of course, they don't have the IP power yet, but if we get enough people to play these, I mean, these could rival some of the big ones. Also, I just love having the idea of another game to play at tournaments. We always play the same games over and over again, but uh, playing an indie game, you're kind of forced to learn some of these new mechanics, and I just love the idea of that. 
games like Hellish Court and Two Strike are indie games that just are simple and to the point, but fun. Like, you have to still put a lot of practice and skill into learning this stuff, but you anyone can pick these up and have a chance of winning at any side tournament. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I do think indie games are heading towards a wonderful spot right now in the FGC, and I want nothing more to see them succeed. And lastly, the reason why I really love the idea of indie fighting games is because these are all people that just love fighting games and they want to make their own which is what I want to do too. For those that don't know, I stream on Twitch every Sunday and Tuesday, and every single time I stream, I put a small portion of my stream to the side, and we work on the concepts for a fighting game that I've thought of for years. And we do this every week, and the community loves it. Like, we're already talking about like me getting a Mugen engine or maybe a real engine, and slowly start the process of making some of these characters. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of work but uh like who doesn't want to have their own fighting game like who doesn't think of like what crazy nerdy dumb silly things that you've thought of in the past that you would love to see in a game if you're making it you can technically do whatever you want so i don't know i'm ready to go all in in this and uh, i feel more people should give some of these games an honest chance do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what fighting games or indie fighting games that you've played that you've really enjoyed. For those who don't know, I stream on Twitch on Sunday and Tuesday every week. Come and hang out. I also have a TikTok account where you can see me do a bunch of FGC sketches and talk about indie games there. If you liked the video today, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. My name is Phil, and of course, I'll talk to you guys soon.